Here we are in the town of Comstock, Wisconsin. Of all places, Wisconsin. I never thought I'd come to any place like this. But here we are, and uh, here is pictures of some bird trees. Yeah, nice little path, cute little town. And right across the street is the Comstock Creamery and Cheese Factory. Of course, we're gonna stop in Wisconsin for a cheese factory, right? Yeah, because that's what you do in Wisconsin. So anyway, um, here it is. And I just can't wait to go inside. Say hi. Hi. So we went into this creamery and it turned out to be a deli. Um, there was some ice cream available, all kinds of cheese from this region. Uh, different kinds you just couldn't even believe, like cranberry munster, extra sharp aged cheddar for like nine years. This like fine wine of cheeses in there. It was fantastic and the staff was fantastic. They were so friendly and we really appreciated that. Here we are at Stinnett Landing in Wisconsin, and I will show you this beautiful river down here. There's a canoe ramp and stairs that go down to this river. No, I can't pronounce the name of the river, but it's beautiful. It's a nice, slow moving river. And you just it takes your breath away. I'm going to scan down to where my feet are. <laughs> the water is really clear, amazingly. Beautiful. Here we are at Lake Superior in Ontonagon, Michigan. And it is vast. It's pretty amazing. Like, it's oh, almost like fun. looking at the ocean. Are you getting a good picture? I'm taking video. 
Yeah. Because it is, it's beautiful. Yeah. And all the dogs want to do is go back to the truck. <laughs> That's how it is. We found a beautiful giant boulder. And hopefully I can get it on video here. It is sparkly green. And I'm going to find out what the stone is and the mineral in it. And I'll get back to you about it. You know what time it is? It's metal that's taking time. That's what time it is. Right there. Let's go. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. I see uh, your metal detecting. Lake Lake Where? Metal detecting in Lake Superior. In Lake Superior. No signal yet. No. Nothing yet, but I've been dying to go in the water. <laughs> Check that one out. Ooh. Wow, that is that's amazing. Pretty cool one. Yeah. That one's coming home. All right, we'll see what we can do about getting some something to metal detect. Yeah. Okay, so so tell everybody what you did before. What kind of what okay, you... so we get this bouncy like signal. It jumps between fifty and eighty. Goes so right in here, about four inches. And I'll take the camera from, from town. Okay. And it's right here. Green rockish. Okay, okay. So, so we're going to do a, a dig. There it is, right oh, there. Oh, it's in the rock. Yeah. Okay, so, so here we go again. So it's this really cool, um, weird rock. Sometimes they're like green. Sometimes uh, they have... Uh, reddish stripes and that kind of thing and you see that copper right there that's but in copper. here is like little copper specks it's raw copper ore yep and we found it right here on the beach of uh lake superior of lake superior right there and so, then this wasn't the only rock but it's got we found quite a few and we'll do some in our review yeah we found quite a few this is a little tiny bit, the tiniest bit, but we'll break it apart probably later and check it out. Check it out. So here we are at the Caledonia Copper Mine, um, just outside of Ontonagon, Michigan. And it's literally a copper mine um, that they once had uh, in working condition many, many years ago. But now they just have um, this shaft that they just they just continue to collect uh, ore from, and um, there's different types of ore. There's silver and copper, and they bring it down here to uh, for all the general public to come mine out of on uh, different piles each one gets a it's called a family pile and it's quite a good size pile to get through in a day it's four hours of mining that they allow and um, there's a lot of different types of minerals in there there's um, calcite and uh, let's see calcite feldspar uh, quartz copper silver um, Pumpolite, I hope that's the 
correct pronunciation. Pulpalite's beautiful. Um, it's uh, kind of a green, crystalline, kind of almost like a olivine, like um, like peridot colored. And then um, and then also uh, epidote. Hey, hey, Hang on just a sec, honey. And um, so far, we have a whole bucket of stuff that we've collected, but um, this is some of the raw copper ore, which is super cool, super cool specimens. It's not cleaned up yet, but it's I'm sure it's just going to be gorgeous. Again, like I said, uh, there is both copper and silver in here. There's a small, small amount of silver, but not, not much. Anyway, so... Uh, Bob is, I think it's Bob, might be Panther. Anyway, uh, he's calling me over to the pile. Bill. Bill? Oh, excuse me, Bill. Yes, for those of you who don't watch our channel, um, my honey has DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder. Oh. Uh, oh, look at that. That's got, what's that got on it? It's got, um, it's copper and some calcite, it looks like, that I see some calcite right on top of the matrix piece. This is also probably going to be our yard piece. This doesn't look real great right now, but all that kind of pinky colored stuff in there is, is copper on top of that matrix and the, of course, the copper oxide on the outside. And um, here's some in this rock as well. Um, copper and calcite in there. And some feldspar. Um, yep, indeed. All right. So that's, that's where we're at is our pile. Working on the pile. And... Um, so because it's, of course, metallic, it's been really easy to work through the pile and get, um, you know, utilize our metal detectors as well as pinpointers to get through it. And um, we're doing really good. We've collected quite a bit so far. I don't think we'll get through the entire pile today, but uh, we're working on it. Working around, working around. So it's pretty exciting. All right. Caledonia Copper Mine. Well, here we are, Caledonia Mine still. We destroyed that pile. There's still probably a few inches down in there. But how you doing over there, Tam? I am finding copper-rich specimens. Uh oh, copper-rich specimens? Uh-huh. Let's see. Oh, There's look a little there. spot, look. Hmm. Nice. We have a whole thing full of copper and silver. <laughs> Pretty green rocks. Here. This green stuff is called epidote. That's epidote. Right there. And then the more um, copper rich mineral, kind of a bluey green, that's kind of indicative of trying to find uh, some copper in inside. Turquoise. No, it's, it's not turquoise. It's just uh, like copper leaching. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. And so it's indicative of finding copper inside of it. And um, anyway, so we found a lot of, of different... Did you enjoy yourself? We're almost done. Yes, yes. I, I've Today's enjoyed myself over. greatly. And yes, we've destroyed this pile. And um, I think we found a lot of good specimens. Thought everybody got about the same depth of the pile there. We really enjoyed this place. 
You get started good and early. It's not too hot by the middle of the day. It's not like down in Arkansas or anything. You know? Uh, I guess next is Keokuk. Keokuk Geodes, Tim? Keokuk, Iowa Geodes is next. That should be fun. We'll, we'll we'll pull out some samples tonight and scrub them up a little bit for for video and review. Okay. Oh, this has been great. Here's a small sampling of the crystals we got at the copper mine. Um, after we cleaned them up a bit, here is some copper in matrix but the white stuff on there is calcite the copper is right in there that's all copper the green stuff uh, dark green is pumpolite and the um and the lighter green is um uh epidote some of uh, the examples of epidote are a good example on this rock here. So you have uh, the lighter green, which is epidote, and the uh, uh, more crystalline features are, are pumpolite. And the red, um, this is a good example, kind of the redder material, is feldspar. And there's a vein of calcite going through it with a little tiny little tiny uh, pumpolite in the middle and sometimes there's like red around it with feldspar just a, right around the pumpolite so that's kind of interesting but all of this is um, copper in matrix this looks like a rock but um, you know the truth is is it's probably mostly copper in here all that reddish colored um, stone quote unquote is actually copper or inside uh, a rocky matrix and um, here's a good example mm, let me focus yeah uh, of that of that copper ore every one of these uh, is de was detected by a metal detector so it was really easy this is just a little little copper on top of um, the, the matrix and here are some of the smaller samples that we got uh, this is called sheet copper it's super thin see oh focus really thin and it just basically flies out of the rock um, after it falls down the scoots uh, in the mine itself and so it could just be find, found in the tailings piles um, these are all um, basically copper inside the uh, matrix that we plan on kind of beating out of them later and here's some actual copper ore chunks um, they don't they aren't very big but um, you can see that that coppery color in there uh, but there's other little minerals around it you can see the pump light kind of sparkling. I probably am pronouncing it wrong. It's, it's spelled different, so it's like pumpiliite. Or, but, uh, you know, I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, so these are all different uh, samples. This These are just some, some of the mineral specimens. This is the feldspar with some calcite in it, feldspar, and uh, pumpiolite. This one has pumpiolite and calcite. And, um, and here's some more of the little copper um, chunks, I guess you could say. And um, it's very exciting. And here's just one little single piece of of calcite with a tiny, tiny little bit of, of, uh, pumpulite. Or is it, oh, excuse me, epidote, epidote on the other side. Um, I had to take a closer look at it. 
Epidote doesn't uh, typically, in uh, the Michigan copper mine, doesn't typically shine. It's not really shiny at all. It doesn't sparkle. Um, like I said, there is some controversy. <laughs> I've read books that say it's the opposite of what I'm saying, but uh, the miners assured me that I was uh, I was correct in in figuring it out. So interesting, very very interesting. And um, of course, we have an entire giant tote that all had some kind of copper rich material in it and um, we'll be analyzing that at a later date but just thought I would show off a few of the little specimens that we stuck in a bucket because they were super cool and um, and that's the wrap up <laughs>